we're asked to find the differential of the function f of x comma y, which is differential z, at the point eight comma five using delta x equals 0 0.25 and delta y equals 0 0.05. So differential z is going to measure the change of z along the tangent plane, and we'll compare this to delta z, the true change in z along the actual function. Differential z is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x times differential x plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y times differential y. Differential x is the same as delta x, and differential y is the same as delta y. Let's begin by determining the first order partial derivatives. Let's begin by determining the partial of f with respect to x, meaning we differentiate f of x comma y with respect to x, treating y as a constant. The derivative of four x squared with respect to x is eight x, and then we have minus the derivative of five x y with respect to x is going to be five y, since the derivative of x with respect to x is one. So we have minus five y. The derivative of five y squared with respect to x is zero. And now let's find the partial of f with respect to y. So now we differentiate with respect to y, treating x as a constant. The derivative of four x squared with respect to y is zero. And then we have the derivative of negative five x y with respect to y, which is negative five x. And this is because the derivative of y with respect to y is one. And then we have plus the derivative of five y squared with respect to y, which is 10 y. So now we can go ahead and find differential z. Differential z is equal to the partial of f with respect to x evaluated at the point x comma y, which is eight comma five times differential x, where differential x is 0 0.25, plus the partial of f with respect to y evaluated at the point eight comma five, times differential y, which is 0 0.05. And now we need to evaluate the partial derivatives. The partial of f with respect to x at the point eight comma five is eight times eight minus five times five, and we still have times 0 0.25, and then plus the partial of f with respect to y at the point eight comma five is negative five times eight plus 10 times five times 0 0.05. Simplifying, 64 minus 25 is equal to 39, giving us 39 times 0 0.25, and then we have plus Negative 40 plus 50 is 10 times 0 0.05, which is equal to 10.25. So the change in z along the tangent plane is 10.25. And this change of z is moving from the point 8 comma 5 to the point 8.25 comma 5.05 since the change of x is positive 0 0.25 and the change of y is positive 0 0.05. So now we need to find the true change in z or the change in z along the actual function. So delta z is going to be equal to f of, again, to find the point x2 comma y2, we take the x value of eight and then add delta x, which is 0 0.25, comma, the y value of five plus delta y, which is 0 0.05, which gives us the point 8.25, comma, 5.05. Again, this is the second point. So we have f of 8.25, comma, 5.05, minus the function value at the original point, which is f of eight, comma, five. And now we need to substitute these values back into the original function. So we have four times the square of 8.25 minus five times 8.25 times 5.05 plus five times 5.05 squared, all of this minus f of eight comma five which is four times the square of eight minus five times eight times five plus five times five squared. To save time, I've already determined this difference. It's 10.45. So the true change of z from the point eight comma five to the point 
8.25 comma 5.05 is 10.45 and the change along the tangent plane is 10.25. Notice how depending on the accuracy needed, differential Z is a decent approximation for delta Z. I hope you found this helpful.